Greetings. Here's a fun little project. Battery board for PalPy version 6. I recently created the 6th iteration of my PalPy game emulation device series and it had a battery problem. I therefore prepared a simple battery board which is a PCB that contains two lithium cells added into an SMD battery holder. The battery is charged by the onboard lithium charging IC and the whole board fits on the back side of the PalPy lower body. PalPy can operate with a backup of more than 3 hours thanks to the new battery board, which is more than enough. Let me now apologize to those of you who are watching for the first time and explain what PalPy is. Since last year, I've been working on a series of projects called PalPy, which is essentially a retro game emulation system built from the ground up using a Raspberry Pi as the system's brain. It has buttons that are attached to GPIO pins and the main display of the gaming system, a PAL display, is connected to the Raspberry Pi. The term PalPy refer to the PAL display that is used in the system. Nearly all variants have an inbuilt battery that powers the entire device, making it totally portable and useful. There have been 6 versions created so far. Yes, I have made 6 of these. Don't ask why. I already have made their brief build guide and a few videos, so do check them out if you are into the retro gaming emulation system projects. This most recent version, which was produced a few weeks ago, has a unique form factor that is somewhat resembles the Game Boy Advance SP. The heart of this project is this TP4056 lithium ion charging IC. The TP4056 IC include a built-in power MOSFET that allow it to control the charging current, voltage and temperature of the battery. It also features a constant current constant voltage charging mode that ensures the safe and reliable charging of the battery. Overall, the TP4056 is flexible and dependable integrated circuit that may be utilized in variety of battery charging application. In this situation, we are using TP4056 as the primary battery charging IC. Also, we put a slot in the PCB so an SPST rocker switch may be mounted there to disconnect the power to the battery and the IP5306 battery in port. The Gerber data of PCB was exported after the PCB file was completed and the sample were then sent to PCB way. An order was placed for the PCB with the white solder mask and the black cell screen as it looked pretty cool in general. The PCBs were received within a week and they were excellent as expected. I really love the quality of the PCBs made by PCB way. There are other manufacturers available but their service is always on another level. Check out PCB way for getting great PCB service at a less cost. The board assembly process begins by first adding solder paste to each component pad one by one. Next, using a tweezer, we pick and position each SMD components in their designated location. Following that, we carefully lift the entire circuit board and set it down on the SMT hot plate, which heats the PCB from below up to the solder paste melting temperature. As soon as the PCB reaches the temperature, the solder paste melt and all the components are connected to their pads. Next, we add USB port and CON2 GST connector in their place and solder their pads using a regular soldering iron. After adding header pins, we add rocker switch in its slot on the PCB and add the GST wire harness into the CON2 connector. The circuit is now completed. We put two lithium cells each of 3.7 volt and 2900 mAh each into the battery socket in the right polarity and then measure the voltage across the output pin. There we get the battery voltage which is disconnected by the rocker switch. The TP4056 IC charges the both cell and throughout the charging process blue light glows. When it gets fully charged the green light turns on and the blue light turned off. The PALPI is prepared as we start the assembly process. We add two wires to the positive and negative port of the battery connector on the IP5306 IC side. The battery board's positive and negative wire are then soldered with the IP5306 wire. Once the wire has been soldered, we turn the circuit around and attach the board to the back side of enclosure using four M2 screws. The assembly is now completed.
Here's the final result. PalPi version 6 with an inbuilt battery board that completes this project finally. PalPi performs as it should and the battery powers the device flawlessly. I played couple of games on it to test the setup thoroughly and the battery lasted for 3 hours which was acceptable. Here's me playing Mario Kart on this PalPi system. Check out PalPi version 6 build guide to read more about this project. Link is in video description. Do leave a comment if you need any help regarding this project. This is it for today folks and thanks PCBWay for supporting this project. You guys can check them out if you need great PCB service, tensile service or even 3D printing services for great quality and less cost. And I'll be back with a new project pretty soon. Peace out.